Does anyone know what life hacks are or what a life hack is? And make it simpler and more efficient to do the stuff that you typically do. So for example, um, you know, even like sending texts to yourself to make sure that, you know, you um, use certain things. So that's just a piece of technology that way. Actually, 2005, winter of 2005, uh, I was traveling with a friend in India uh, for about a month. And I happened to be in a internet cafe uh, in Delhi. And I was talking to my cousin. My cousin at the time was working in Central Asia, in Tajikistan. He's like, oh, well, why don't you come visit me in Tajikistan? He's like, it's only a two hour flight. So I looked into some flights, got a, I got a ticket. And a few days later, I went from sunny, bustling Delhi to cold, dark, and dreary Dushanbe. And I embarked. Um, on a 16 hour journey from Dushanbe to Korog through the mountain and we, we hit the road and you know the, the first part of the journey was was great it was very scenic and very nice and very comfortable but after a couple hours we ended up on these mountain roads and I was just fearing for my life at that point uh, it was probably one of the scariest rides I've ever had and for most of that the rest of the journey we were on a small mountain road and next to us was like a fast flowing river and no barrier and maybe about this much space between the wheel and foot. So I, I devised an ejection plan and I was ready. You know, once the car, once the Jeep fell in, into the river, I knew how to get out. It was a Sunday um, and we weren't really sure what to do. So my cousin was like, okay, why don't we go uh, check out the Serena, the Serena Inn, which was the only hotel uh, in the area. So. We decided we would walk uh, two hours from Koro <laughs> to the Serena Inn. Based on this image, I think the treasure is being described because according to this description, the treasure is someone who manages the club's bank account. Uh, in this image, there's a picture of money and somebody who looks like they'd be an accountant because they have a calculator. I really like tracking my expenses, figuring out how much I've spent each month, how that equates to how much I've made, whether I've saved as much as I thought I did, um, so I do like tracking my expenses, and I think maybe it would be good as a treasure. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, VP of membership? Yeah. Because when you're a VP of membership, it's all about parties, okay? <laughs> it's all about organizing parties, it's about getting people to the parties, it's all about talking to people and getting to know them. And um, really, a VP of membership actually does have a more administrative role, and one of them is to really, you know, welcome the guests. Um, when they first come in, make sure the guest book is signed, um, um, answer any kind of uh, follow-ups <coughs> on, on meetup if people are interested in coming, uh, following up with our guests, uh, answering any questions, all that kind of stuff, uh, organizing socials, which happen every last Wednesday after the meeting, um, and they're quite Okay, fun. so this is someone who's record keeping. We can see a bunch of records. We can see somebody who's keeping records here. Personally, I see this as an excellent description of the secretary's role. Uh, they're a person who gathers, makes sure that we record information, gathers that information and makes it in a place that it is retrievable make sure that everybody's aware of it so that we don't keep reinventing the wheel. What I know, I've been observing uh, respectfully Mark, an amazing VP of education, and also the other members doing their roles. It's really about pumping people up to learn, no matter who they are, what walk of life they're in, you know, learning those nice new words and utilizing them properly. So you know, you'd be surprised, you'd be in an interview and you'd be asked a random question, you know, these words would pop up and they kind of, um, you know how to tailor your, um, phrases more properly and aiming at the precise sentence you want to say. I'm looking at the last two that are left, which would be Sergeant at Arms and VP or VP Public Relations. I'm going to guess Sergeant at Oh, it's Sergeant at Arms because he's a drill like <laughs> high up your boots. <laughs> okay. That was clever. Oh, your face telling me that I'm wrong. I'm pretending that I'm right. So it is the Sergeant at Arms, our lovely Sergeant at Arms currently, Karina, is the face that we see when we start every meeting. She is greeting everyone. She's reading the mission statement of the Toastmasters. 
very much like a drill sergeant also, would. If for some reason you need a candle and you are in the woods and you're camping, um, if you have a, a tin of Crisco fat around, it's mostly American, but you can create a candle that will burn for 45 days. So all you need is um, a can of Crisco, some rope, and a lighter.